Hi there, and we finally got some additional info about the upcoming event on Honkai Star Rail, as well as details about Jinyuan's banner and Jinyuan's Litecoin banner, which is about to come out in one day, I guess, and it depends on when you're watching this video. So let's discuss all of that. All of that, by the way, was translated and delivered by Pride1GG. They are really doing lots of work. Lots of people asked me under the Jinyuan video, where did I get all of that damage comparisons, damage charts? All of that came from Pride1GG, so feel free to add them to your bookmarks. They are really informative and useful. About the update, let's start from Jinyuan's banner, because much more people are just interested in summoning them and playing the game. And about Jinyuan's banner, we were sure that Jinyuan is about to be like a 5-star character in this banner, obviously, but we were not sure about 4-star characters. There could be some slight changes, but we actually got the same banner in terms of 4-stars as we had on close beta 3. And those three 4-star characters are really good. We have Shushin and Tinyun, which are a one of the best 4-star characters currently in the game. And also we have March 7, which of course is a free-to-play character. You got her just by playing the game. You might think that you are about to be disappointed if you get this character from Raytop. But overall, all three of those characters are really good in terms of getting their Eidolons, March 7 too. So this is a really good banner. Again, we already discussed if you have to summon for Jinyan or just have to skip him, so I'm not gonna touch this in this video, but I'll address those people who under that video mentioned that I'm just summoning for Tinyun, I don't care about Jinyan at all all. I think it's a bit risky to do like this. Again, if you are far, far away from your guaranteed, then this is a good strategy. But if you are, for example, in two months from your guaranteed and you know that your guaranteed is a new rate up character, you might just simply ruin your guaranteed on Silver Wolf or Locha for the sake of getting Tinian. So I think it's not that good. And also about comparison of the banners, it's still impossible to compare this banner, which is really good to potential Silver Wolf and Locha's banners, because the only fact that we have about either Silver Wolf or Locha is that on their banners there will be a new four-star imaginary harmony character, which is Yukon, and she might be a really good character, which might even replace in theory Tinyun, we will see, it's really hard to tell now. So I think we can say that this banner is 100% better than any of those two banners in terms of four stars, but overall I completely agree that this banner is really good if we're talking only about four star characters on Raytop. Now let's talk about Lightcone banner, because it's really important, especially for those who want to minimax their Jinyuan, because Before Dawn is like one of the most important parts of Jinyuan. And lots of people, I was making a voting on my YouTube channel, and lots of people, if they get Jinyuan early, they are about to summon on the Litecoin banner. If you're talking about 4-star Litecoins, I can't say that they are the best. Of course, uh, March 7th, a Litecoin is really good, but other two, I think, are too situational. And about Before Dawn, again, it's really hard to tell now, because there might be a scenario where this Litecoin becomes just the best erudition Litecoin we have in the game, and currently this is like this, we have Before Dawn, which is just two times better than any other erudition Litecoin, but potentially with every new erudition character we might get a Litecoin which is just better than any other erudition Litecoin, so it's really hard to say now. If you want to just get Jinyuan for collection, there is no point in summoning on his Litecoin banner, because if you're just playing for collecting characters, it's much better to get more characters than the Litecoin on some specific character. And if you want to min-max, I think it's better to like get one copy of the character without idol on one, idol on two, and just summon on the Litecoin banner, but this is only if you are spender or you saved up lots of like uh, of Stella Gs just because for example you skipped Zilla. In other scenarios I think it's not worth it to go for Litecon banner like in general overall not only this exact Litecon but if we're talking overall about Litecon banners. And now let's talk about the event which is like has lots of potential but we'll see how it finally be like released. First of all we have rewards, we are about to get 100 stellages just for participation and here it's written like these are participation rewards. And then we have 500 stellages on top of that which at least to this translation 
are about to be given if you play this event during its like period because maybe 100 uh, stellar jades will be given to everyone no matter when they start this event i think there might be a, a, a bit of mistranslation but again it's only my theory i'll explain where like i think those 500 stellar jades are hidden and about the event itself, it's really like just the Boulder Town mission where you have to beat the enemies. You know like in advance what might be the weaknesses of the enemies. So it's a bit easier to find the team which fits all of those elements. And overall, I don't think it will be too hard to finish. And here we have the most important thing because here we have the statement that depending on like your position in leaderboards or something like this you are about to get 500 additional additional stellar jades and i think here what these 500 stellar jades mentioned are hidden and here it's exactly written that we don't know if it's like a real leaderboard where you have to compete with other players on the server or maybe it's just like we can say artificial leaderboard where you have to just get to some specific score and then you get your 500 stellar jades. I really hope this will be a competitive thing. Of course, uh, lots of people who just play casually will be disappointed at that. But competitiveness is really important because lots of people who came from other games already noticed that in Honky Star Rail it's like more of a single player game where you don't have to care about other players at all. Like, the biggest cooperative thing in the game is just to get one supportive character from your friend list, which is really not enough. I think any competitive PvE, I'm not even talking about PvP, but any competitive PvE is really good for the game. It gives you additional motivation to level up your characters, to develop in general in the game. For those free-to-plays who maybe will be disappointed in that because some whales are taking all of those first places, just don't care about them. Honestly, you don't have to try like uh, to compete with whales. It's just impossible. You just have to enjoy the game and also maybe try competing if you just want this. Again, you don't have to compete with whales. It's stupid. Maybe I'm mistaken on this. Write down in the comment section what you think about this type of event. Again, it's not already confirmed that this will be this type of competitive event. Maybe there will be just like a score like for example, let's say 5,000, which you have to reach, and then you get all of those 500 Stellar Jades. Or maybe it will depend, it will be dynamic and depend on other people. Like, you have to get, for example, to top 15% of the server to get those 500 Stellar Jades. I think it's, it will be much more interesting. It may prolong the, like, life cycle of the game by lots, I think. Again, it's only my opinion. And that's actually it, so... Again, looking forward for those additional rewards about Genuine's banner. Of course, I'm skipping that because we discussed that in the Genuine video. If it gets 500 likes, I'm just skipping for those people who are also skipping to support them. And I think currently that video already has maybe 2000 likes. So, of course, I'm skipping Genuine. Sadly, I wanted to make content on him. I don't think that, like, I can say that I am a big fan of him, even though I understand that he is not that good character to pull currently. I'm just neutral about him. I completely understand that he looks awesome. His animations are cool. Of course, Lightning Lord is cool, but I still don't think that this is enough for me to pull for this character. Again, we are about to get lots of other cool characters and beautiful. Lots of people already think that I'm Kafka simp. That's why I'm just asking other people to not summon for characters which I'm not summoning. But it's not like that. We will discuss that later in the further videos about further characters. So... And that's actually it. Thanks to all of you who are leaving the likes under my videos, who are subscribing and leaving the comments. It really supports the channel and I really appreciate that. And for now, that's all. Thanks for your kind attention and see you soon.